Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I am back with a quick video about keto. If you guys are doing keto and you're taking supplements, you have to be very careful with reading the ingredients on the bottle because like you know how I always tell you guys that we gotta check like ingredients on even the spices we use because sometimes there is hidden carbs. Well, oh my God, you guys, look what I just discovered. Okay, so my mom got me this bottle of vitamin D and she just gave it to me because she thinks that maybe I'm like lacking <laughs> some type of vitamin or something because um, you know, my diet, for the past few months has been so restricted and everything and i do take a multivitamin and everything but when i was pregnant with caleb my doctor had told me that i was a little anemic so after that i never got tested again i did have some blood work done um a while back when i was getting my my hernia fixed and i had my gallbladder removed the doctor did blood work and he said everything came out perfect so I mean, I guess if I still would have had a little bit of anemia, it would have shown up, but whatever. So there are days that I kind of feel off, you know, and sometimes I don't really think it's my electrolytes, you know, sometimes it could be, but sometimes no. So I have been looking, um, like symptoms of, uh, anemia or low iron or whatever, or some type of vitamin deficiency. Like I do take a complete multivitamin, but sometimes you have to take like other supplements and stuff. So... I don't know, my mom was like, you never get enough vitamin D, number one, you never drink milk on keto, <laughs> and you never get enough sunlight. So, well, now I think I do because I walk outdoors every day for an hour, so I guess now is when I'm starting to get like that vitamin D from the sun. But anyway, I don't know, my mom wanted to buy me a bottle of vitamin D. Now, it just so happens that out of curiosity, I checked the ingredients and the ingredients has maltodextrin, another word for sugar. Why in the world would vitamin D have maltodextrin? I have no idea, but it does. So I'm glad that I didn't take it. I, like I said, I do take a women's daily multivitamin. So I'm gonna stick with that for now and I'm gonna steer clear of these. I feel bad because my mom went out of her way to get me these. And I'm not taking them. I'm not. I'll give it to somebody who doesn't um, do keto so that it doesn't go to waste. But I'm not going to take something that has maltodextrin, you guys. Like, look at the ingredients. Okay. My God, the lighting here sucks. Um, okay, so it has maltodextrin. It has... I'm just going to read the ingredients that I don't agree with. Starch. It has sucralose. No, I'm sorry sucrose another word for sugar not sucralose i could do sucralose i do it on my um my sugar-free powdered creamer for my coffee i've always done that creamer since day one of keto it has never kicked me out so i could do sucralose i know there are people who cannot do sucralose uh they do better with aspartame so you know you gotta find what works for you but sucralose is totally fine for me but no this this is not sucralose this is sucrose like I said, another word for sugar. Maltodextrin is another word for sugar. Um, starch, we don't want to do starch on keto. And vegetable oil, we don't want to do vegetable oil on keto. So yeah, you guys, I just wanted to get on here really quick. I'm pretty sure you guys are not going to be able to see those ingredients on this bottle. Unless I put it like really close, but it's not focusing, whatever. Like I said, the whole point is check your supplements. When you guys buy something, check the ingredients on your bottle before you buy it. Because, yeah, I was I was pretty shocked to see that this has maltodextrin. Like, what the heck? Oh, my God. And it's not even, well, obviously, it's not going to be open because I wanted to see the coating on it. Let me see. I feel so bad because my mom got me these. But, um, yeah, I'm not going to take anything that has maltodextrin oh okay so they're like the they don't even look like vitamins they're like these little round pills <laughs> so i guess the coating on it and stuff like that i don't know but anyway yeah i don't know but i'm glad that i read the ingredients on the bottle because yeah it has ingredients that we don't do on keto uh, ingredients that will definitely kick us off ketosis so yeah I thought I'd get on here and make this video really quick because I'm always telling you guys about like you know check your 
like the ingredients on your spices really good there's always hidden carbs in everything we consume i mean there are things that out there that you buy in the grocery store where you'll look at the bottle or the packaging or whatever and it'll say zero carbs but it really isn't it's less than like one gram so they assume that okay less than one they might as well just put zero but trust me for like a tiny little amount is less than one but as you use more of it it's going to add up and it's going to give you carbs so yes you know it's it's very misleading when you see a lot of stuff that says zero carbs you have to be very careful and look into that because you know yeah stuff like that you might overdo it with some seasonings and it might throw you off but now i'm seeing that even bottles of like vitamins and supplements have these ingredients that we don't want to do on keto so it's good to always check your supplements i thought i'd share with you guys and you might find it helpful maybe you're uh struggling on keto and you're trying to find or figure out what it is that's kicking you off ketosis or or stalling you or slowing you down well there you go maybe you are one of those persons that takes some type of supplement and you haven't really noticed the ingredients on the bottle so yeah always make sure to check the ingredients on everything you guys every single thing you put in your mouth <laughs> make sure you check ingredients because that might be it that might be one of the things that's like kind of stalling you setting you back or kicking you out i mean who knew right who knew and it, it's funny because i I'm so used to now. I never before keto ever looked at ingredients on things and macros and whatever, you know? But I've learned along the way to watch for everything before I put it in my body. So yeah, this was one that I'm definitely glad I didn't consume, you know? And my multivitamin does have vitamin D, so I mean, but when I when I check the ingredients on my women's daily multivitamin, it doesn't say anything about maltodextrin or starch or vegetable oil and a lot of these things that we can't consume on keto. So it's weird. Uh, but yeah, I rather continue taking my women's daily <laughs> and steer clear of supplements like these because yeah, that's no good on keto. I mean, these this is for the people that are doing keto. <laughs> Cause yeah you want to stay away from ingredients that are going to kick you off ketosis or you know or kind of stall you we don't want that so anyway thought i'd share with you guys i hope you guys find this information helpful and as always stay tuned for more if you guys are new to my channel please don't forget to like and subscribe hit that notification bell so you can be notified when i upload new videos and click on the description box below for a link to all my social media and i'll see you guys in my next video bye guys